Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Melissa from the Dagenstein Community Library, and I am out at the Rouse House Farms in our sunflower patch. And I know that sunflowers are really hot right now, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about why we grow them, what we do with them, and what's the best ones to cut so that you can keep them a long time in your house. Um, so you, as you can see, we have about an acre worth of sunflowers. Uh, we grow them for a couple of reasons. One, we sell cut flowers. Um, two, we use them for seeds that we turn around and then we feed to the birds. And then the last one is we. it really helps with our bees and our butterflies and actually, um, well, just nature. So I'm going to walk closer here and you'll actually see there's a whole bunch of bees on these sunflowers. So what's kind of unique about sunflowers is, I don't know if anyone knows this or not, but those big petals, those are the petals, but the actual flowers are those little things that that bee is trying to get the nectar from. Those are the flowers and those flowers produce the seeds. Now this sunflower here is pretty large. If you were to cut him, he probably would only last about three to four days in a vase um, because his stem is so big. A smaller sunflower, about maybe that size, this guy right here. See, you notice his stem? He would last about a week um, in your house. Now, please be forewarned that if you cut sunflowers and you place them in your house, your house will have what I call sunflower dust because the yellow pollen does get all over the place and everywhere. Um, when we go to cut sunflowers, we want to make sure that actually the face is not completely opened. So this sunflower I could cut. Um, there's no blemishes. There is a little bit of marking here, but I could cut this guy and he would actually last a couple days. This guy, he's already he's done he's finished um, see how it's already pushed back um, it's starting to separate his petals are starting to separate he's he's pretty much been out on the on the open for a while now um, let's walk over here this guy will be open in a couple days so he'll be a good one and I always get a lot of questions about babies so you'll see on this sunflower here the main head, and then she has a series of babies. I leave these um, because these babies will continue to grow and they will also produce a flower. And then you get a different variety of different flowers. So let me show you one that I would actually cut today to bring inside that would last for a good week. And that would be this guy right here. Notice he's not completely opened yet. Um, now, that once you cut them, though, they will not produce seeds. So that's something to be aware of, that you're cutting them um, just to look at them. You're not going to produce any seeds. You'll want them to go to seed. I have a couple more over this way. I would cut this guy, although his petals are not very large. And I would wait probably two more days for this guy to cut because he's getting, he's getting pretty open. Now, I am going to go over to the back patch here. We uh, plant sunflowers tractor-wide um, pass, and I have a back patch here that I'm waiting for the heads to actually go to seed, and you might be able to see that in the video, that there's a bunch of goldfinch out there trying to eat my seeds. So hold on one second. Let me walk a little closer. 